there, Meredith here from Spoonflower. Today I'm here to show you how to make a baby bonnet featuring Omeo Mai's baby bonnet pattern in Spoonflower's petal signature cotton. Ready to get started? Here's what you'll need for this project. Step one, lay your pattern pieces on top of your fabric and cut out all of your required pattern pieces for your preferred bonnet variation. We're making the brimmed bonnet in this example. Step two, iron your brim interfacing to the back of your brim and brim lining pieces. Step three, sew the brim to the brim lining along the curved edge with a one quarter inch seam allowance. The right sides should be facing each other. Step four, turn the brim right side out and give it a good ironing. Snip off any seam allowance that is sticking out. Step five, pin the curved part of the bonnet side pieces to your bonnet center piece. Match up the notches to guide you in lining up the pieces correctly. The single notches on the bonnet side should be pinned to the single notches on the bonnet center. The double notches should be pinned to the double notches. Step six, sew the bonnet side pieces and center piece together with a one half inch seam allowance. Step seven, trim your seam allowance with pinking shears, making sure you don't cut all the way to your seam line. Step eight, iron your seam allowances open. Pro tip, with the bonnet turned right side out, use the tip of the iron to press your seams open. Step nine, pin your brim to the front of your bonnet so that their right sides are facing each other. The tips of the brim should line up with the corners of the bonnet. If they don't match up, you might just have your bonnet upside down. Step 10, layer the bonnet lining on top of them so that the right side of the bonnet lining faces the right side of the bonnet. Step 11, sew the front where the brim is located with a one quarter inch seam allowance. Step 12, turn the bonnet right side out and iron the brim bonnet seam. Step 13, iron your bonnet bias tape and ties in half. Then iron the edges back an additional one quarter inch. Step 14, iron one quarter inch up on one of the ends of each of your ties. Step 15, 
Sew along the folded edges of your ties and the end of your ties. Step 16. Turn your bonnet inside out. Pin the unfinished side of your ties to the corners of your bonnet. Step 17. Sew your neckline bias tape onto your bonnet with a quarter inch seam allowance. Leave about 3 8 inch of extra bias tape on each end. The right side of the bias tape should be facing the lining side of the bonnet. Step 18. Turn your bonnet right side out and iron the excess bias tape toward the front. Iron the ties down. Step 19. Fold the bias tape up and over so it just covers your sewn line. Sew it down along the edge of the bias tape. This will enclose the excess bias tape at the ends. Step 20. Sew the ties in place at the bottom corner of your bias tape. If you'd like, tie the ends of your ties in a knot and get ready for maximum cuteness.